would be a good, some good yoga and meditation to do to start this year and to, um, what could serve you as you start this year at the heart, right? That's the important thing. This is a year of your heart, your beautiful heart, how we connect our hearts to each other. Can we slow our voices down? so that we can drop into the heart of the other, that we can feel the other person as a beating heart, not just as something to be dealt with. So I'm gonna give you a few exercises. Some of them I will have to explain because I still cannot do them with my shoulder, but we're gonna play with this, okay. This one is really simple and you're just gonna just do hula, which is an old Sufi heart sound to connect your head and your heart. And it's just Little spine flex and just open your eyes really wide. Activate your intuition with your eyes wide open. Feel like you're compressing this energy right into your heart. You're not bringing your hands together. You're creating a corridor. Now close your eyes. Open them wide when you bring your hands out. Close them when you come together. Close your eyes and just feel that energy coming into your heart. And exhale. When you want to release something, this is always a really good thing. I wash my hands in this, just, yeah, just breathe into it. I'm like, okay, this is a good release thing. Just hands and you get to stimulate all those meridians that go up into your heart all up through your arm into your heart. Yeah, just breathe into it and just feel like, okay, I can be done with this. Yes, 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 I feel. <laughs> and just feel this energy, separate your hands and feel it in front of your heart. Fabulously charged. It's your energy, take it in. Don't just feel it, accept it. And then hands over your heart for a moment. Laughter. Always, always, always a good thing. And if you feel like there's just nothing to laugh about, just stretch your legs out in front of you. Yep. Take your hands behind you. Can't do both, but... And then just drop your head back, look at a point, and fake laugh. Okay? Just, you know, start laughing. Like, ha, 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 It's going to sound really dumb, and then... <laughs> and take a deep breath in. <laughs> and exhale. You can do that in so many poses. You can do it standing up, taking your arms back and just, you know, whoa. But just allow your diaphragm to relax so your heart gets energy. Yes. And take your thumbs and your hands. This you can do in a bathroom. You can do it at your desk and just really powerfully make an O out of your mouth and just breathe this in. Can't do it with this hand, but just you're going to do it with both hands. Move the energy away from your heart, what you need to clear out of your heart, and just... Remember, you have both hands.
Inhale deeply. You can do any of these, hold the breath. One to three minutes. But if you choose like four or five of them to do every day, it'll create a heart practice that will set you for this year. Exhale. Good. Now put your fingertips on the floor. I realize that you can't see my fingertips, so I'm gonna move this back just a little bit. As you know, I'm not quite used to doing this in here. This is why I teach if you're ever interested in coming to a class. So, fingertips on the floor just like this, and open your knees, put your fingertips on the floor, and you're gonna bow and clear out your head, right? You open your legs so that your heart can come through, so that you don't do this, but you bow forward like this, yes? Your elbows bend out to the side, and your heart comes with your head, not just your head, yes? Okay, so we're gonna make an O out of our mouth and do that O breath again. Squeeze the rectum and sex organs so that you don't get really dizzy, okay? And just... Keep going, keep going, keep going. I want you to do this for like at least a minute, just powerfully up and down, up and down, up and down. Yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I love this one. My arm does not love this quite yet, so just keep doing it. Okay, give yourself another 10 seconds, powerfully up and down. Clear out the head, connect the heart, and inhale up. And exhale, yes. Okay, stretch your legs out in front of you. Now, <clears throat> If you find that your hips are tight, which you may know or you may not know, but if you find yourself bobbing your head up and down instead of moving up and down like this, then you'll know that that is true, okay? I'm going to move so that you can actually see my feet, hopefully. All right, so flex your feet back, grab wherever you can. If you can only grab up here, then run your arms down your legs, or you can take a strap and just hold on to your toes and bend your elbows with a strap. Because again, you want the heart to come forward, but you want to be able to stretch out this beautiful life nerve, okay? If you can put both hands down on your feet or on your shins, uh, ankles, um, then do that and bend the elbows out to the side, okay? So we're just gonna just do hula again and just, And inhale down, stretch down as far as you can. And exhale and come back up. That is good for so many things. It stretches out your beautiful legs and your life nerve, your sciatic nerve and the back of your legs. It stretches out the whole brachial plexus in your arms and it brings your heart and head connected to bowing into you, right? So those are just a few things that you could do. And, you know, a meditation that we want this year is anything that has to do with the heart. So I love that if you just take your hands and just bring the fingers together. I'll come up really close so you can see this. You're gonna bend your fingers in and just touch them. Your thumbs are, are up like this, good. And you're just going to chant Ma, okay? You can sit on your heels, you can sit any way that's comfortable. And you're just gonna chant Ma, but what I want you to do is really bring the lips together and only let them separate at the end. So it's, you get to stimulate the lips, which your vagus nerve goes right through your lips. 
Your vagus nerve is the biggest, the biggest nerve in your body. It's called the vagus or the vagal nerve, which means it wanders through it, influences so many things in your being. It literally connects your head and heart. It feeds your entric system and your intestines. It, it, it's just huge in the influences of our life. So you're going to just chant ma, okay? Just mm -hmm. sweetly at the same time. Mm -hmm. Amazing heart here.